Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I have a special video. It is sponsored by Koala Printable Vinyl Sticker Paper. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use this Koala clear vinyl sticker paper that koala sent to me to try out and i'm gonna make some super easy diy um ornaments that anybody can do no vi or no vinyl no epoxy uh, is needed so yeah i'm gonna use this i printed out my image and cut it out and this is what i'm left with and as you can see it's clear it is kind of a frosted look but not too frosted so i cut out several because i wasn't really sure which one i was going to use on which one i'm doing two different ornaments and um, everything that i am using is listed in the description box below along with a coupon code for koala um, so yeah, make sure you check out the description box below. So these are the two ornaments I'm using. This one is a clear acrylic. I think it's like three inches. I'll list it in the description box below. So I took off the protective film and I'm just cleaning it up to get it ready to apply the sticker that I made. So this one I am leaving clear. However, you could easily paint the back if you wanted, um, if you are familiar with epoxy you could epoxy the back but i'm just gonna leave this one clear because i just thought that might look cool so that's what i'm doing i go ahead and cut off a little bit just like i do with normal vinyl and line it up to where i want it and then once i get it where i want it lined up i'm gonna take that little slit that i cut off smooth it down and then take off the backing of the rest of it and then once all that's done, there is a little bit excess overhang. Um, I am just going to um, cut that. I did cut the where the hole is too. But I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut around the um, excess vinyl or the excess sticker paper is to cut that away. And... You'll see later that you don't necessarily need to seal this. Um, if you want to, you can to protect it even longer. But I'll show you um, what I do later to show you that I really didn't even need to seal this at all. And I didn't. But um, from the time that I printed to the time I started applying this was maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So... I'm extremely impressed with this paper. And um, so here's a really cool, fun, clear, personalized ornament. And all you needed was an inkjet printer. So here's the other one I got. And this one is technically supposed to be sublimation, but I could not get it to work. Um, so I just gave up trying to sublimate on these at all. And I'm um, just using them like a normal acrylic blank so here i am it's the same exact image and i'm going to cut off like i did and um i don't know why i went in the other side too instead of just cutting it all completely off but i'm um, just going to do the same thing line it up onto the acrylic blank and then peel it back Trust is blood and 
And for this one, I am going to go ahead and do the back as well after I finish cleaning up um, the excess overhang and um, the vinyl because it was rounded at the top did go over into those little holes. So I just cut those out and then um, applying the back as well. And we'll do the same exact thing. And you can see how vibrant it is on this white acrylic. And I wanted to show you, here's an extra one that I put on. And I am scratching this up with my fingernails um, as hard as I can. And it is not pulling the ink off. And um, it's hard to tell on camera, but I tried my hardest just to scratch it off with just my fingernails. So that you would get the kind of the effect that you would with normal bump, you know, wear and tear with hanging up ornaments and storing them and um it did not pull away any of that ink and like i said this was only about 15 10 to 15 minutes after i printed these um that i applied these so i did not feel at this point it was necessary to seal these so for this one because it's got the white tip I did decide that I wanted to go ahead and take one of my silver acrylic paint markers and just sort of paint the top of that just to add a little something extra on this one. Once that was painted, I went ahead and set that off to dry and I'm going to go back to the other ornament. And um, I'm gonna show you here, this is the kit that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of 20. Um, like I said, it was for sublimation, but I it didn't work for sublimation for me. So um, for here, you can put a ribbon in there. I'm just gonna use one of the little hangers that came in the kit and um, string that through and it snaps together and it's ready to go onto the tree. And then, it, it's time to go back to the other one and paint the other side and once that was done I will put a hanger in it to go on the tree too I am so impressed with this koala printable vinyl sticker paper I absolutely love it and my grandson thinks so too take a listen uh, I like it it's awesome the, the order is awesome well you heard it from him it's awesome and I made these ornaments especially for him for Christmas this year. He gets a new one every year. And so I decided to make this. And so everything that I use is in the description box below, um, including the links to get this sticker paper. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a great big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.